I must disagree with my esteemed colleague here. Okay. Except First of all, part. let me say that <laughs> science is the engine of prosperity. From steam power, to electricity, to the laser, to the transistor, <coughs> to the computer. That's not true. We're That's talking technology. about... Hey, mate, technology. Hey, can I have my... Can sure. I have my say? Okay. sure. You had your say. Let yes. me have my say. Yes. However, the information revolution has a weakness, and the weakness is precisely the educational system. The United States has the worst educational system known to science. Our graduates compete regularly at the level of third world countries. So how come the scientific establishment of the United States doesn't collapse? If we're producing uh, a generation of dummies, if the stupid index of America keeps rising every year, just watch network television and reality shows, right? How come the scientific establishment of the United States doesn't collapse? Let me tell you something. Some of you may not know this. America has a secret weapon. That secret weapon is the H-1B. Without the H-1B, the scientific establishment of this country would collapse. Forget about Google. Forget about Silicon Valley. There would be no Silicon Valley without, without the H-1B. And you know what the H-1B is? It's the genius visa, OK? You realize that in the United States, 50% of all PhD candidates are foreign born. At my system, one of the biggest in the United States, 100% of the PhD candidates are foreign born. The United States is a magnet sucking up all the brains of the world, but now the brains are going back. Right. They're going back to China. They're going back to India. And people are saying, oh my God, there's a Silicon Valley in India now. Oh my God, there's a Silicon Valley in China. Duh. <laughs> Where did it come from? It came from the United States. So don't tell me that science isn't the engine of prosperity. You remove the H-1B visa, and you collapse the economy. In Wall Street Journal, editorialized against a congressman who wanted to ban the H-1B, saying they'll take jobs away from the American people. The Wall Street Journal said, look, there are no Americans who can take these jobs. These are at the highest level of high technology. They don't take away jobs from Americans. They create entire industries. We, and so that's why we have an Achilles heel, and that's the educational system. The and again, sociology irony, majors irony are not necessarily going to be the ones determining the future of Silicon Valley. The but physicists, okay. the engineers, is, the we need more of them, not less. The irony is, the irony is. And you know how cheap space travel has become? You know the movie The Martian with Matt Damon? Come on, raise your hand. How many people have seen that movie The Martian with Matt Damon? You know how much that movie cost? A hundred million. Now, the Indians sent a probe to Mars for 70 million. You realize that a Hollywood movie about going to Mars costs more than actually going to Mars. That's how cheap space travel has, has become. And this rocket is going to be replaced by Elon Musk's masterpiece, an even bigger rocket that will take us to Mars. It's called the BFR. B for big, R for rocket, and F for your imagination. <laughs>